After three straight home games, the Watertown Red and Black hit the road this weekend. Mel Bustler has the story. Well, the Red and Black looking to go a game above 500 in the standings. The Red and Black find themselves two and two on the season. The record a reflection of the way the team has played so far this year. It's like a roller coaster. You know, one day you think that it's really coming together and then you're on that big hill again. Uh, we knew it was going to be a rebuilding year. I truly believe that if everybody just came and played ball, we're going to play with anybody and we could beat anybody in this league. But right now we've got a lot of walking wounded people that, you know, one week to the next and you don't know who you got. And this week we'll be without three or four people that played last Saturday. So every week it's a different game and we've been suiting 50 people for every game. So hopefully we can do that one more time and see what we can do on Saturday. One of the walking wounded is quarterback Sean Johnson. He's being replaced this week by a former Carthage Comet. Yeah, I made it after a game that Nick Cavalier will start on Saturday. He's a young local kid and got to give him a chance. He, he did a nice job and he's elusive in the pocket. And, and this is not a, a dig on Sean at all, but he's been beat up for a few weeks now. And uh, he was really hurt and had to leave at halftime, couldn't breathe. And I know he's been checked down a couple times this week. So we're going to go with Nick Cavalier. And we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. You know, let him use his legs a little bit. He, he can get out of the pocket a little bit and get away from pressure. Defensively, Coach John Bannister looking to tweak some mistakes that were made this past Saturday. I mean, we didn't do terrible. We only allowed two scores, but like we, we missed a lot of tackles. We had a lot of uh, rough spots where we were letting the players come to us instead of stepping up and uh, making tackles. And we're, we're just going to make sure we actually work on some of that this week. We had a couple of times where we were, you know, may have been in position for the deep pass or something like that, but we just mistimed it. Uh, but overall, I don't think we did terrible. Up next is a game at Ithaca, a team the Red and Black beat earlier this season, 47 to six. We're going to go down and play a very good Ithaca team. They've got some good ball players that if we don't do what we're supposed to do, it won't be a fun day. But if we can get to play ball again and people make tackles, don't give up turnovers, we'll be in the game. And that's all you can ask for right now. Ithaca is going to be a much improved team than the one we beat a few years, a few weeks ago because they were missing a lot of guys. So we expect a very tough battle going down on the road this weekend? I think it's going to be a completely different game. They're going to have new uh, players, or not necessarily new players, but they're going to have players that weren't up here. Um, we're going to, you know, have to be on our A game to, to you know, to actually, you know, win this game and, you know, take this, this uh, win from them and, you know, just make sure we're playing our game. We'll see if the road will be kind this weekend to Watertown. Perfect game, Collegiate League Baseball action tonight. Final score, Watertown over Boonville, 8-2. Well, that's it for now. We'll have the latest from the sports world coming your way on 7 News this evening at 6.